Hey everybody, how y'all doing? Welcome back to some Giants baseball. We are under the lights this evening as we get you set for another edition of baseball on MLB Network. Tonight, game two of this three-game series between the San Francisco Giants and the Washington Nationals. Yeah, we crushed them in game one. We got Scott Kazmir, his 17th win of the year. He's having an outstanding year. Tug Dick hit three home runs and a double last game. There's, that means he'll probably strike out every at bat this game. Tanner Roark, are you some kind of Star Wars character? Tug Dick hitting 395 with 101 stolen bases. We got a runner on first already, Hunter Pence, top of the first. First pitch of the at bat. Is this going to be our pitch? Now a ball oh, no. Oh, right into a double play. One there on the first that was a great the job by them to turn the double play. Unfortunately, we got a whole lot of nothing out of that. That's disappointing. No score. Tug Dick 0 for 1. You can hear the fans booing him. <laughs> Mostly from last night, I think. We're down 3-0. to zero. Crap. Top of the fourth. First pitch coming, here it is. Drill to the right there we go, right through the gap. Let's get some stolen bases here. Still going for 130 because Tug Dick wants to break Ricky Henderson's record. Digging in for his second at bat. Oh no. He gets a shot to hit here in the inning. I'm sure Tug Dick would join the national fans in booing Moss. <laughs> Boo! Anytime you could extend an inning and give a guy with plenty of pop a chance to swing it, the outlook of an inning... That means said last game, Moss did have a three-run home run. He actually played all right last game. We're going for it. Oh, the pitch uh, catcher dropped it. Excellent. And he'll make it to second here as he's moved into scoring position now after the passed ball. What are you looking at, son? We're going for third on the high leg kick. Easy. Boom. Add some more steals. Plus, we're trying to make it easier for Brandon Moss to get us home. We need some runs. It's a big risk, especially with the lefty hitter up there, and the benefit isn't all that great, but he made it. What do you mean out. the benefit isn't all that great? Shut the fuck up. A deep pop fly? Well, well no, deep pop fly is not going to help because we have two outs. This is where Bochi's always like, know the situation. Shut up, Bochi. This is on the ground over to first. Outrun him, Moss. Outrun him. He's yes. He's safe. He I can't believe he outran someone. Well, that's called smelling a base hit right there. He beats out an infield single. Not everybody hustles out of the box. See, when the he announcer was like, that was a bad idea did. about stealing third. My ass, stealing third allowed us to get a run with that base hit. Good job by Moss hustling. We are on the board. Into the box Listen now. to those boos. One for two on his line so far yeah. in the game. We are down three to one, though. The only run because of Tug Dick's amazing base Into running. The wind up and the pitch. Ooh, high fastball. Well, I wish I could have had so that far, one over he again. Really racked up the strikeout totals that you might think, Dan. Yeah, but for him, Matt, he's more pitch to contact kind of guy, and obviously it's working so far. And the way he pitches, it really keeps his pitch count down. You know, he's one of their guys they rely on to get their offense going. They need a rally, so we'll see if he can spark one here. Ooh, good pitch. I thought that was going to drop out of the zone. Curveball just frozen. That's one of those big curveballs you're expecting to go start at you like this one did and break all the way down to the bottom of the plate. But this one didn't. Exactly. Just what the announcer said. I thought it was going to keep going. Chopped in front of home plate. That goes. That was the desperation swing to stay alive. Wasn't necessary, but what are you going to do? Come on, Tug Dick. We got to get you on base. Our team's having a hard time hitting. Breaking pitch. Skied into very shallow right. Yeah, that should be an easy pop fly. And that's can of corn, as they say. Tug Dick is probably like can of porn. That's not the scene, sir. Inappropriate. Digging in once again. Hey Butler, I'd like a grilled cheese, please. 
Butler. Uh, still down by two runs. Our team is not doing much of anything. Run, Dick, run! Dick on the move. He makes the play. I thought I heard someone scream in the stands. I think a fan pulled his groin muscles. He got up. <laughs> or dropped um, hot nachos in his lap. Running around first, we are down by three runs. Top of the ninth, we're running out of out. First pitch of the at bat on its way. One first pitch fastball off the plate there, and it's ball one. What are you looking at, Bochi? <laughs> I believe that's Hunter Pence over at first. We got to help him out. Foul back. Shut up, lady who wanted us to be. Oh shit! Doubled up. One and two hole. Uh oh. We need a rally right now. Another one sent foul. This guy only has three pitches, but he's got good pitches. One, two. Very weakly Home run! Hell yes! Tugged it, getting it done, advancing the runner and getting a hit. Even if it's not beautiful, it's a hit. Come on, Brandon Moss. He went down on strikes last time up. Oh, he struck out. Big surprise. What's up, Butler? I would like a roast beef sandwich, sir. <laughs> He's probably getting sick of Tug Dick giving him orders. And a fastball just a bit up. No doubt. Some saves come easier than others, and I know this all too well. They're really making wrapping this thing up. Potential tying run at the plate in the form of Moss. If Moss ever wanted to be a hero, now's the time to hit one hard. Pence takes his lead at second and the pitch. Now he swings hard, but he misses. Typical Moss. Well, as demonstrated there, that's a tough pitch to do anything with. Yeah, good luck. But hey, a high fastball all of a sudden becomes really dangerous for a pitcher if it's not spotted above the zone. A little height difference makes all the difference. Dick doing some booty shaking right there. Strike two. Down one and two now. How much you bet Don't Moss strikes out? Here, Matt. Two fastballs he blew right by. <laughs> Look at how early he was swinging on that thing. How fast do you think this guy throws? A thousand miles an hour? There are no outs. All he needs to do is make contact with it to help the team. Now he gets on top of one here and chops it foul right at Well, I meant contact and hit it in the play. You see guys in the middle of the order get worked away, but not right here. They're keeping it inside on him. I think Buster Posey is next. Looks like him on deck right there. Come on, Moss. Just get a hit, then Posey can come up. And he strikes out. Typical Moss. Boo! Boo! Suck! You like my daily life. Disappointing. So clearly, this pitching staff, they figured out how to attack this guy. We'll see if he can make any adjustments. Come on, Buster Posey. One out. Runners on first and second. We need a bunch of runs now. Whoa. Don't need him to be our best hitter. I mean, technically, Tug Dick is arguably a best hitter right now. He's got the best average. But Posey seems to be the most clutch. In for a strike, it's one and one. We're seeing quite a few pitches up from him right now, and that can obviously be dangerous. A cold strike there, but he might need to lower his sights a little bit. First and second now, one man out. Come on, Posey. We beat him last game. We win this game. We win the series. I think it's a three-game series. Slider stayed too low. Ball two. Well, I know the last thing he wants to do is load the bases right here. So the pressure is on right now to get. Yeah, give him something good to hit. He's set and the two-one pitch. Look out! Again. You can bet he's. Do you think he's losing some control? Maybe, maybe we've gotten to the pitcher. I can't imagine you trying to brush the guy off the plate twice. Either that or maybe the pitcher's just an asshole. 
and a half swing here, but this is oh, in full count. Strike two. Just stand alive, putting together a really good at bat here. He definitely is. He's made him throw a bunch of pitches. That's, that's the great thing about Buster Posey, though, is he's Another got good discipline. Smoked on the ground up to no, the no. On to first, and he rolls a double play ball to Damn it, Buster Posey! <laughs> we lose the game. He hits into a double play. On this one, picking up save number thirty now on the year. Nice job from him. We only had what was it? One run, mostly because of Tug Dick stealing bases. Burns his eighth victory of the season. Mike Marshall. The save. Not the best game for the team. Not a bad game for Tug Dick, but unfortunately, you don't go to the playoffs based on how one guy plays. Old McDonald's pretty pissed right there. We lose four to one. Rourke gets the win. Let's play another. Tug Dick two for four. Crawford two for three. For the victorious Washington Nationals, four runs on six. A typical Moss there, though. Ninth inning, he's got runners on, and he strikes out. I know I complain about him a lot, but he fucks up a lot. Final game in this three-game series between the San Francisco Giants and the Washington Nationals. It's baseball on the show, and it's coming up next. Let's do it. Thomas Joe going to the plate. It's like, my name is not Joe. Yeah, it is. Joe Dallas, the stripper. He's got a real big time loser record. Five and ten. I don't like that he's won two of his last three, though. <laughs> Look at Tug Dick's road average. Oh my god, he is killer on the road. Coming to the plate now, Tug Dick. Hitting 464 on the road. So far this year. All right, we got a runner on first. That looks like Buster Posey. Hopefully, that means Moss isn't first behind us in the lineup. Couldn't wait back. A swing and a miss. HR, these Nationals as they take the field here today. They come in looking to make it two in a row as they were winners last time out. And Matt, you know, you look at the split right now, but they lost the first game, one to second one. So you're looking at momentum is on their side. That's why I'm kind of leaning towards them here in this third game. Yeah, I don't care about your damn momentum. Oh, oh shit! Silly here. Oh, stupid changeup dropping down. Uh, that's a little bit of a surprise. You don't see too many ugly swings from him. He's having such a great year. You think he's on most things all the time. Ugh. <laughs> Runners on first with one down. It's a little late to bunt now that we got two strikes. Can I rethink things, Coach? Whoa! All right, doesn't matter. We got beans yeah, in the butt. The crowd murmuring now, wondering if he hit him on purpose. But hey, us pitchers need to be able to throw inside, especially when inside into the butt zone. That was is. way sure inside. This one just got away from him, and hey, that's part of the game. Dallas, you on the crack? It works out though, because he was not having his best Hunter at bat. Pence. Yes, and Hunter Pence is back on the in the number four spot. Number eight. Hunter Pence. Thank God. Come on, Hunter Pence. We only got one out. Runners on first and second. Top of the first. Let's win the series by winning this game right here. And this pitch is taken on the inner half for strike one. Matt, last night's game, this is the situation right here. They didn't do a very good job. Driving guys in with runners in scoring position. Right here, you gotta that is a fact. You gotta capitalize and Unfortunately, our team kind of shat the bed last, last game. Good pitch to drive right here. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. Chasing after it is Mabin. Makes the play, and there are two gone now. Wow. Buster Posey. Why didn't you go to third on that, bro? You could have made it. And here's how the visiting San Francisco Giants line up in this one. What do they need to do to get a win on the road here today, Harold? Well, the key to me in this one, I'm going to throw a cliche at you, Matt. You know, I don't use many cliches. I would have to say, have great energy. Play with some enthusiasm. Be excited about playing. And if they do that, man, they carry it through for nine innings. Look out. All right, Brandon Belt coming to the plate. Ready now. Brandon he should have been talking about Tug Dick with his 396 average. Outstanding. Two outs. Brandon Belt's got a ton of RBIs this year. Here's the first pitch to him. Little dribbler down the line. Foul ball, however, strike one. Dick Dribbler. <laughs> what? <laughs> That's what it would have been if Dick hit it. And then it got really sounded grosser than I meant it to be. 
Another one fouled off, and he's quickly behind 0-2. I bet the uh, first base coach there keeps those two men and sells those. Two men out. That's my retirement plan. I keep the balls and sell them for a nickel. That'd be a pretty good deal. A swing and, a miss. and Brandon Belt strikes out. Strike zone and Brandon Belt, you're playing like the other Brandon. Giants leave a couple. Now it'll be Washington's turn in a scoreless ball game. How did that guy carry that sign in the stadium? It's bigger than him. Here's Cameron Mabin now. Man, I like his home average, 185. Cameron Mabin struggling at home. A runner on first, no outs. Oh, man, I hope they're not going to be rocking our pitcher. Come on, Dicklicious, get that and get that in the infield. Going down. Yeah, you better go back to first. And he will scurry back to first as he'll think twice about trying to move up. And a look now at the hometown Nationals starting lineup. HR, how do they send their fan base home happy here today? Well, the key to me in this one, I'm going to throw... Well, their pitcher is hitting just as well as their number eight hitter. That's pretty impressive. Not for the number eight hitter, obviously. In now is Anthony Rendon. He'll lead things off here in this one-run contest. Oh, we're getting some action out here in the field. Bottom of the second. We are up by a run, though. Thank God for whoever got that run. Hold high in the air out to left field. Dick has a read on it. One away. Easy catch. I love playing out here in the outfield. Right, time for majestic defensive alignment for the Giants. And I'm looking down there at Brandon Belt. You know, this guy has really solidified himself in the middle of the Giants' order. You weren't sure how he was going to hit, but one thing you did know, See, he was going to be able to defend. What you hear the announcer saying right now, great things about Brandon Belt. Brandon Belt. He should be in. That's the position Moss plays. When Moss is in, Belt isn't in. Which is a big mistake. A runner on first. At least I think Moss plays first. I swear he does. We're up by a run. Here's the first offering. Yeah. Here's the first pitch chop foul. That was a great swing. Played <laughs> and that's the first strike. Uh, looks like Buster Posey over at first. We got to get him advanced. No outs. Count. Here's the pitch. Off speed pitch one in one. the dirt as he takes it for a ball. Come on, give us something good to destroy, friend. One and one. Here it comes. Wouldn't bite on a good sinker that time that missed. Quick two well, one count. Kind of count like this pitcher is. It's a good time to work in something off speed. You're gonna you're beat me in the butt again? Dick's like, I don't need it in the butt, sir. He's set. <laughs> like, I give it in the butt, but you don't really want to say that. Swing oh, and shit! I thought he was gonna get so much more of that. It doesn't matter though. It works. It's like a funky bunt. But we get a hit and we advance the runner. Come on, hundred pence. We're setting you up. Hunter Let's get you some more RBIs, bro. For one here in the, early going. the guy in the yellow there in the stand selling hot dogs, Tug Dick is like, that guy looks like a bumblebee. <laughs> what? He's yellow. Now a fast ball that could Tug Dick is easily amused. This is the guy they're going to have to be. That's more of an orange, I guess, looking at it this way. In a hurry. No, that's so yellow. Them to try to get him to chase His container is orange. Whatever. I'm one of my colors, just like the dick. He's ready. Here's the 1 0. And he just misses with a curveball. Well, I know the last thing he Two wants balls. to do is load the bases right here. Yeah, so give Hunter Pence something to murder. Right now to get back in the strike zone. First and second here with nobody out. Down low, and the plot thickens here. Three, three O counts. I'm pretty surprised by the location on those last three pitches. The book on him is that he hits the way pitch pretty well, and he just... I hope he has the green light there. right here. So does he go back out there again? No, Matt, I expect him to mix They'll it up. They'll probably have him taking, though. For the same location over and over yeah, and over. especially considering and he's only been hitting in the mid-200s. It's three and one. Now, that's not fair. Hey, you're supposed to be throwing sinkers, and he throws a high fastball right there. That's why everybody's shaking their head. All right, 3-1 count. Come on, Hunter Pence. Let's get you some RBIs. Destroy uh, that thing. Strike All right. Two at a pitch that okay. catches the outside corner. None out. Runners at first and second. Full count. No outs. Turned on that one and crushed it. Just oh, bounced it off the... Um, 
upper level. Swing and he swings and misses. Ding dong crap. <laughs> Damn, 100 pence. Brandon Moss taught me how to do that. All right, Brandon Bell, what about you? He's got 70 RBIs. His RBI numbers have slowed down a little bit since he's been playing less. First pitch of the at bat on its way. A change up over the inside corner. One strike. We also have one out. Come on, Brandon Belt. He's ready. Here's the 0-1. This is pulled into right. Harper. No, no. Right We're in trouble. Bad base running by Tug Dick. Oh, shit. Pochi's going to be mad. I thought it was going to... Oh, no. Pochi's going to be really mad. Run and hide, Dick. Run and hide. Runners on first and second. Bottom of the fourth. No outs. Tied ball game. Here's the pitch. Fly ball out to straightaway left. Moving under it, Dick. And that's the first out of the inning. There we go. Good catch by Tug Dick. Making sure they don't get any additional runs. Listen to that. those delicious booze. Oh, we're down 4-1, to one, though. Tug Dick hitting a three. Strong 398. First pitch of the at-bat on its way. Right up the middle. And Go home, son. Into center field for a base hit. Long throw to the plate. And he's there we go. The yes. The Two bases. Late. So much of this game is situational hitting, guys. Nice job there. Yeah, you've got to find a way to pick your teammates up when you're given the chance. And he doesn't. And Tug Dick with some good right aggressive here. base he running, gambling that they weren't going to be smart and throw it to second. Teammates in the dugout. I'm not going to steal. Steal your woman, loser! The dick is loose! Whee! I hope that's not his sex talk. How about that for making something happen? First, he rips a double, then on the very next pitch, he swipes third, just showing what kind of offensive weapon. Hey, he's got to keep stealing if he wants Ricky Henderson's record. Not to mention the fact that we want to win the game. We're down by two runs. If Hunter Pence could get a hit here. We could make it a one-run game. Grounded back up the middle. Yes! Great and job by Hunter Pence coming through. Getting himself an RBI and making it a one-run game. You the man, Pence. Oh, ground ball up the middle. That's going to score a run right there. That's a nice job of just staying up the middle, not trying to pull a ball or get out in front. Just stay up the middle, and it paid off. I love me some baseballs. Almost went up to pitcher's butt there. He's like, oh, no! <laughs> I threw it at someone's butt, but I don't want it in mine. <laughs> Tough balls. In now is Anthony Rendon. Oh, for two on the afternoon so far. All right, one run game. Bottom of the six. Nobody on. One out. Oh, look how good Tug Dick is. Doing a little dance move. He was already in the right spot. He's got those baseball six senses down. Now at the plate, Tug Dick. And it looks like this could be a critical at bat in this one. Well, a glance at my scorebook shows they haven't been able to get him out yet. So this could be He is two for two today. Single and a double. He's been killing it here in Washington. We've got runners on first and second, top of the seventh. Down by one run though. From the stretch, here's the pitch. Ooh, trying to do a little too much to there. The at -bat. It's one. Wow, not sure what that was, but talking about... Uh, that was trying to be a hero and force the, the issue. Throws a pitch. I don't instead know of having some patience like pitch. you should have at the plate. Right down the third oh, line. hold it. Damn it, that sucks. Quickly down 0-2. So the slider darting away to him two times in a row. Now I don't think he'll go for it again. I'm looking for something hard inside on this. Oh, should have let that go. That was a poor at bat and a poor time. Luckily, there's only one out. Hopefully, the team got some runs there. Standing in, Cameron Maven, leadoff man on base, and we'll see what they have in mind. Oh, no! God damn this team! Like we only had one out in that situation. That means nobody else did anything after him. We got no runs in that inning. This is in the air now, out to left. In there, a base hit.
Tug Dick, two for three. We are down by six runs. I guess it won't matter what he did. Top of the ninth. We need a miracle rally here. Posey over at first. He's set and the pitch. And the curveball is chopped foul right at the plate. It's strike one. This is going to be disappointing if we lose two here. Especially because Tug Dick has played so good here. Him a bit. Is this yeah, that's not going to help us out. Towards right center and shallow. What's up, Buster? Has a long run, but he takes charge for route number two. Uh, well, the Nationals win again. This road trip did not end up as well as I'd hoped it would. Combined to finish this one to get the win. Nine to three, the final tally here in this one. Uh, some. You guys keep that shit in Washington. Your dick thrusting. It's not how we play it in Frisco. Tug Dick two for four. He had a good game. John Jay three for four. He had a good game. Buster Posey two for four. He had a good game, but none of it was enough. Oh, and I forgot he got hit in the butt in the beginning, too. Let's take a look at the standings in a moment once we've loaded it up. That's the kind of game where I just want to be like, ah! <laughs> Frustration when you have some good games, but the team loses. Tug Dick in the middle of a five-game hitting streak. I can approve that. Hitting 397 overall. Outstanding. Let's look at the league. In the National League West, hey, that's where we play. We're a game ahead of the Diamondbacks. The Diamondbacks have been playing well. If we look at the wild card, you can see the Diamondbacks are pretty close to the wild card position. Cardinals tied with the Reds in the Central. In the National League East, the Braves are four and a half games over the Mets. I, the Braves winning a division? Amazing. <laughs> not like that's not happened a billion times before. Mariners two and a half games up on the Rangers in the American League West. In the American League Central, Tigers tied with the White Sox. Go Tigers! And in the American League East, the Rays nine and a half games over the Red Sox. Wow. Well, everybody, I'll see you all next time. Are we playing the Mariners next? No, we're playing the Marlins next. Starts with an M. Uh, yeah, the... Marlins next, and then Philadelphia, then Milwaukee. Still a fair amount of games to go as we are a little over halfway through August. I'm having a blast. I hope you are, too. I'll see you all next time.